Yo, Swag DVD, Greatest Entertainment. It's your boy Green Eyes. We're sitting here with Matthew Max, DJ producer. He's been affiliated with one of the one of the most powerful, greatest, you know what I'm saying, rap groups that's been around, Wu Tang Clan. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let the brother introduce himself and you know what I'm saying, tell us tell us what's going on with you. All right, yeah, peace. Mathematics right here. A lot of mathematics for those that know me. For those who don't know me, been in the game for a minute. Um, you know, I started off DJing for the Jizza. Um, was with Wu-Tang since day one. Um, Wu-Tang DJ. I also um, created the Wu-Tang logo. So when you see that bird, that W right there, you know, I drew that. I used to do graffiti back in the days. Um, did all aspects of hip-hop. You know, I tried to be an MC at one point, but... You know, I'll, I'll leave that to the MCs, you know what I mean? So, yeah, like DJ and production, that's my thing right there. So, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Um, you, how, how strong are you still affiliated with the Wu right now? You got any projects going on right now? Um, yeah, definitely strong. Those are my brothers, you know what I mean? It's like, um, you know, I did work on the Cuban Links 2 album, Ray New album. Um, uh, yeah, the one he got out right now. If y'all ain't got it, go cop that. Um, what's the name of Ray New Album? Shaolin versus Wu Tang. Um, Wu Massacre did tracks on there. Red and Meth, Last Joint, Blackout 2 on there. Um, I just came home uh, yesterday. I uh, was on tour with um, Jizz a few weeks ago, did a show um, like the night before with Meth. So I'm still out there DJing and all that. Plus, I'm um, heavy in a production right now. It's like. Um, Wrapping up this project called The Answer. Um, for those who don't know, this is like my third album. I had The Love Hello Right, which was like 2003. Uh, 2005, I came with The Problem. That, that had all the, everybody, all the Wu-Tang members was actually on that album. Even Old Dirty, you know what I mean? Rest in peace. He's actually on this album too, you know what I mean? The Answer, you know, something I had from him that we had did a while ago. And um, then I also got um, like um, Oslo on there. You know, he's one of my artists out of Southside, Queens. Um, we got an album. We didn't dig two called Love and Loyalty. We're going to blast that off this year. Um, we also, you know, he's working on some things too. You got to look out for him, Ali Vegas, um, and Boulevard Benny, you know what I mean? The Black Mafia. Um, yeah, so, you know, just getting it in like that. Okay, that's what's up. Now, Wu Tang is, is like one of the no most notorious, you know what I'm saying, rap groups that's been around. They, they're very deep, you know what I'm saying? They brought a lot of inspiration to the game. How did it feel like, you know what I'm saying, being around that? You know that kind of group you know what i'm saying so so deep into it um for, for me it's like it wasn't like a feeling like that because you know i knew brothers you know what i mean it's like i knew rizza since like like the 80s since the rallies you know going to the to the to the parliaments you know with the guards and earths um i knew jizza like and his family from because they used to live right here in south south and what happened I, I knew both of them but I, I never even knew they was cousins until you know i was you know officially djing for jizza and um he was like yo my cousin's shooting a video out in, out in queens so you know me and the guard infinite rolled through and it was rakeem i was like oh you know the rizza so you know yeah so that's when you know that was like probably like in 1990 you know what i mean and then then, you know, we used to just always travel out to, um, you know, like me, Jizz and Dirty, we used to always hang, you know, drinking 40s and all that. You know, we used to catch the ferry to Staten Island and, and go check RZA, you know what I mean? And then um, I started meeting other brothers. Like, I knew Ghost and Ray already because they used to travel with RZA a lot. So if I was in the city or we met up in the city, you know, I knew them brothers from RZA. But then I started meeting brothers like Method Man and um, Deck and, you know, um, U God and... You know, and then everything just started happening. So it was like, you know, you know, it was just brothers that loved to love hip hop, you know, trying to break through. So yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Um, you know, you being affiliated with Wu Tang, you know what I'm saying, you how hip hop is now, you know what I'm saying? How do you see it going in the next five years from now? Five years from now, that's that's kind of far because it's like hip hop is changing every day. It's like technology is is taking over so fast where the world became small. It's like um back in the day, like you had East Coast hip hop and then if you listen to NWA first album, like all the cuts that they were scratching on the album was all East Coast artists. Like they was cutting in Rakim, they was cutting in um, Public Enemy because they didn't really have too many artists out there. So it's like now East Coast to West Coast is so small that now, you know, you get on the internet, somebody from the, the Midwest or somewhere else will put, post something up and everybody know it. You know what I mean? Right. It's people in Europe will hear it and, and, and know somebody worked from the Midwest that nobody probably never even heard in New York because the internet 
and technology brought the world so close together. So five years from now, it's really hard to say where it's going to be. As far as hip hop now, how I feel about it, I think it's more diverse, um, which is good because it's like it's not one lane. You know what I mean? It's like you got certain individuals that was like, you know, that want that one lane. But if you want it, it's there. You know, if you want the hardcore hip hop, it's there. You just got to know where to look. If you want a party, it's there. If you want the West Coast, it's there. You want that, you know, that that bouncing, that down south is there. So, you know, it's just more diverse. That's all. All right, That's what's up, man. Yo, we appreciate the interview. The time, you know what I'm saying, to do everything with us. Yo, mathematics. Yes, sir. Much respect, Very brother. Nice. Yo, let the people know where they can find you at. You got a Facebook or Twitter yeah, got, where they can got, look you um, up. Wow, yeah, I got all that. Um, you can catch me at um, themathfiles.com. That's how I do it, you know? Green eyes, Wu-Tang it all day. Southside Queens, peace. Yeah, and I'm from Southside Queens. Southside in the building. Yeah. All right, it's your boy Green Eyes, Swag DVD, Greatest Entertainment. Yeah, we out.